Well, first off, <clears throat> I'd like to say thank you to the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, it's an incredible honor to me to be included with such an amazing group of athletes over the time this evening and an amazing group of builders who are equally as important for sport here in the province. Um, and watching that video tonight uh, brought back some great memories, uh, a few memories of some pretty bad haircuts, I guess. <laughs> In 1987, when I was 17, I left Winnipeg for Florida in the family van where I lived, ate, slept, studied for the next four months, every day trying to push myself a little harder than the day before. And for the next nine years, all I thought about was trying to win an Olympic gold medal. Getting to the Olympics certainly wasn't an easy road, and I definitely couldn't have uh, even come close to getting there without all the people who have supported me along the way. So a few, a few quick thank yous. I'd like to start by thanking the many friends and family who've supported me in so many ways, many who are here this evening, um, and all the things they've done for me, including helping me with fundraising, buying t-shirts, coffee mugs, etc. I'd like to thank the uh, major sponsors I had during my Olympic campaign, uh, John Laven, Sandy Riley, Derek Johansson, for their financial support and their encouragement. And I think uh, Manitoba really needs more people like this supporting elite athletes in the province. Uh, I'd like to thank the Manitoba Sailing Association and in particular Charlie Burns who was the association when I was going through the sport. Uh, Charlie was my best mentor in the sport. He was my training partner. He was my fiercest competitor until I was about 13 or so. <laughs> And uh, Char Charlie was my coach leading up to the 92 Olympics. And Charlie, I can't thank you enough for everything. Uh, we were ready in 92. I'd like to thank uh, one of my best friends and oldest friends, Scott McDonald. He left a great job, a promising career, uh, to come away and be my trainer coach leading up to the 96 Olympics. And it was very special to have shared the, the ups and downs um, training for sport with uh, such a great friend and I can't thank you enough for the sacrifice you made. I'd like to thank my brother Kelly and sister Amy who were both top athletes in the sport, uh, traveled all over the world with me and uh, as an older brother that's something that's pretty special to share with your your younger brother and sister. So thank you for all your support over the years. I'd like to thank my mom who more than anyone her words of wisdom uh, suggested readings really helped build my mental attitude, which is so critical, as we know, to, elite su to success on an elite level. Thank you for this, Mom, and for so much more. And finally, I'd like to thank my dad, who really did everything to help me succeed, whether it was driving a beat-up car for 10-plus years so I could take away the family van, organizing fundraisers, driving to events all over the continent and sleeping in the van to keep costs down. Uh, but most of all, I'd like to thank you, Dad, for instilling that fierce competitive drive in me and believing in me when all the odds were against me. You never doubted I'd succeed. Thank you.